Hi. 3D Mechanical Design. This video is a tutorial of SolidWorks for beginners. The video provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a model of an air duct transition from a 20 round to a flange to 30 round. The following steps are covered in the video. Let's start. First, select front plane. The sketch with a diameter of 36.06 inches. And an offset of 3 inches. Select Boss Extrude, Depth Thickness 0.25 inches. Sketch plane, face of the flange. Sketch for a hole with a diameter of 0.875. Angle 6.4 degrees. Radius 16.88 inches. Hole diameter 0.88 inches. Tool cut extrude and CIR pattern for 32 holes. Create plane with a distance of 30.25 inches. Sketch on the created plane. Sketch with a diameter of 26.06 inches. And an offset of 3 inches. Select Boss Extrude. Depth, thickness 0.25 inches. Sketch plane, face of the flange 2. Sketch for a hole with a diameter of 0.75. Angle 18 degrees. Radius 11.56 inches. Hole diameter 0.75 inches. And CIR pattern 2 for 20 holes. Sketch plane, face of the flange, sketch O20 inches. Creating a center point arc, symmetric to vertical line, with a gap of 0.06. Base flange, length of 2 inches. Sketch plane, face of the flange. Creating a center point arc. Symmetric to vertical line, with a gap of 0.06.
base flange 2 with a length of 2 inches. Sketch 14, with a tool center point arc of 20 inches, using convert entities. And sketch 15 with a tool center point arc of 30 inches, using convert entities. Lofted bends. Select both sketches. We have two separate open profile sketches. Click lofted bend to create transition. We have model. The video provides detailed instructions on how to use various tools in SolidWorks, such as sketch tools like line, smart dimension, offset, trim, circle, and feature tools like extrude, extrude cut, and circular pattern. The video also encourages viewers to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to provide feedback on the tutorial.